Howdy folks, this here is the old mountain man I'm talking at you from the back side of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Well today I got a little bit of a discovery that I made just here a little while back when I was trying to smoke some ants out from under my house. It was crawling up everywhere and I was just trying to create a smoke cloud where they would They'd just be discouraged from trying to get up under the house and crawl up in there and den up. Didn't work out too well, but I did discover that I could give a fire starter, fire starting method of mine, or well, it's not real, really mine. It was a discovery of the British SAS that they used, that they've been using for many years. And there's a spider on my damn computer get off her you little fuzzy fucker oh uh, anyway we got this potassium permanganate and as British SAS pretty well knows and has demonstrated in videos here on YouTube a few drops of glycerin and a little bit of potassium permanganate will create a, a chain reaction that produces a hot enough heat to get you a fire going and if y'all excuse the the lighting here I'm gonna try to fix that I can't oh well that's what happens whenever you film outside you know cloud cover blowing over the Sun and then yeah but says this is a fire starting video you'll get the whole reaction real well but anyway, I found that if you add a decent measurement of powdered sulfur to the potassium permanganate, I'm going to do teaspoon for teaspoon equal measures. So, let's get on with this and see how it works out. Alright, now, I got a couple of piece of aluminum here and they come off of the, they're the seals to the coffee that I use and they come in handy for various different things and uh, I get that, that tapped out there Let's see here. Whoop, 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 whoop. can't go wasting that now And potassium permanganate is perfectly legal for anybody to have. You can use it as a wound wash, mix it with water, mix a little bit of water until you get a purplish color solution. And it's good for washing out wounds and it's even good for that damn bee flying around my head. I swear, I'm having a hell of a truck bother with these arachnids and insects today now what I'm going to do here is get this little crater plowed out in the center it's a little devil like crater to hold the potassium permanganate I'm going to set that right there and I'm going to get this sulfur pack a decent amount in there tap that out there and then fill a teaspoon with potassium permanganate this should produce a This measurement here, Let's see, get that. Oh, it's got a lump in that sulfur. I'm gonna mash that out. Yeah, had to take a look at the timer there. I was recently told that I need to make my video shorter. I need a better camera. You know what? 
my subscribers don't really seem to care. Besides, I can't afford a new camera. And the person that told me that, well, they can just kiss my ass. On second thought, I wouldn't even give them the honor of kissing my ass. I'm not going to name that person because in some cases it just ain't right to go making another person look bad nowadays. Even though they deserve it. It's called give them respect whenever they don't deserve it. Might be a strange concept to some people. Oh, the way that's looking, it might need a little more of that potassium permanganate. Just about an eighth of a teaspoon or so. Yeah, that looks better. One more. Want it to look about equal. And as finely ground as that potassium permanganate is, it's like a little granular dust. God damn bee. I swear to God. Pardon the foul language, folks, but that's just me. This is going to make quite a, quite a flare up. that back there now it takes a little while for the reaction it takes a few seconds and it's also temperature sensitive it take a long it take you know quite a bit of doing to get things in order in a wintertime situation now I'm going to set that, set this over here, get this down here, all right, get this bucket here and move back out of the way. First, the regular potassium permanganate. Now, the glycerin will generate its own heat. <coughs> Dang wind change, don't <coughs> Now, it won't all burn all at once. You got to add glycerin to it as you go along. The more potassium permanganate you have, the more glycerin you're going to need. Now, for the sulfur and potassium permanganate. This may take a little bit. That stuff is rolling off. It's going to take a little while because of the sulfur. Once it gets going, well, doggone it.
<clears throat> now this worked whenever I was over there out behind the house doing this mess I knew I didn't add enough of that potassium for magnesium tried to go with equal measures it didn't work lesson learned Add a little more. That's, there it goes. Oh, micro. Once it got going, it got going. <laughs> God almighty. What do you think about that? Oh boy. Once it got going, it got going. Whew. It's my gunpowder. So, I'm thinking. Get the mixture up half and half, or a little more or less. Y'all, you know, pretty well get the general idea. Didn't exactly go the way I wanted it to at first, but I knew how to correct the situation, and you know, it's science. And in one video, I said I'm not a scientist, but I do love science and I like experimenting, and as long as it's not gonna harm anyone or cause anyone to harm themselves you know, that's their responsibility and that's my disclaimer you know I you know, I do this for survival purposes to enhance the fire starter to get emergency fires going quickly enough and that sulfur adds a bit more kick to it but you know, you seen what I had to do. I had to put a little more potassium permanganate on top of the on top of the glycerin. And once that got going, once there was enough on top, it weighed down and broke that encapsulation. That 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 uh, glycerin became encapsulated inside the had that sulfur coating on there. And it forms sort of an encapsulated, uh, almost a shell around it, a powder coat, powder coating around it. Not a powder coat like on a knife, but, you know, had to get that potassium permanganate on there, you know, just that little bit more. And there's that spider again, you little bugger. Get out of here. All right, you're dead now. Jeez. Oh, I made a mess. <laughs> uh, but that's just, you know, it's all part of it. Man, oh man, look at there. It burnt clear through. Burnt clear through that thick ass aluminum. Holy mackerel. I wonder if it did the same. No, it just barely scorched it there. But it burnt clear through the aluminum. I looked back there and seen them holes. I said, holy crap, look at that. And that's some thick ass aluminum too. Man, you get that on some damp or, or uh, get that on some damp fire materials and you got yourself a way to dry out some fire, pretty, fire making materials pretty quick if they're damp. Could be the Brits will pick up on that and I will help some people. Yeah. But you don't want to breathe that smoke. That stuff got in my lungs. Oh man, and it scorched the table too. Yeah, see that dark spot back there? Yeah, it scorched it. Burnt through and scorched it. Got a little too much of a kick, more than what I thought. Holy mackerel. Just be careful whatever you do and yeah I figure I'll title this potassium permanganate with a 
fire starter with a kick. Well, for now, this here is the old mountain man I'm signing off from the backside of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Wishing y'all a good day and please try to be good to yourselves and be good to each other and you know I like positive people. And there's some people in this world who just don't really seem to know how to be positive all the way around. Now, well, I'm going to be anxious to see your comments and, and see who takes things right and who takes things wrong. We'll see y'all later. Adios for now.